Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So let's say you're sick of hearing how good Linux Mint Cinnamon is. Let's say you're sick of everybody on YouTube banging the drum for Linux Mint, but you like Cinnamon. Well, you could turn the whole thing on its head and rather than going for Linux Mint, you could have a look at Ubuntu Cinnamon. This is basically Linux Mint's Cinnamon desktop with a pure Ubuntu backend and all the glorious gorgeousness that Canonical can offer you. All the stuff that Mint does not. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. But anyway, so um, straight out of the box, it looks very Ubuntu-ish. It's gorgeous. It's beautifully themed. Um, this is running off a live USB thumb drive. I'm not going to install every operating system I have a look at. But if we click on the, um, the Cinnamon menu, the first major difference between Ubuntu Cinnamon and Mint Cinnamon is that Ubuntu replaced the software center with Pigeon. Mm. Not so sure about that, just saying. Uh, you might want to think about that, Ubuntu. Uh, but anyway, let's do a Neo fetch. This is on my running on my MX Linux PC via a USB thumb drive, you can see 8 gig of RAM, GDX 1050, i5 2400. And she's super quick and super fast. Now, one thing I do want to look at is the software center, which, I mean, this thing just works so blindingly fast compared to Linux Mint. So, um, let me go to search and let me do a quick search for OBS. I just want to see if it offers me uh, OBS Snap. OBS Studio, unofficial, free and open source software. So, we can install the dev file. It's going to install a snap by default, or we can do the dev file. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's easy enough to snap craft latest stable 31.1. 31.2 latest edge 30.0 okay well it's recommend we recommending we go for the 31.1 let's go ahead and try and install i don't know how big this snap is uh of course i didn't bother looking but 603 meg download wow well it shouldn't take forever but it's not going to be super quick uh, but i'm interested to see how it runs off of a usb thumb drive very surprised that they've not put the software center on the mint start menu they've actually put pigeon in there uh which is a bit weird uh, i don't think I don't know if HTOP is installed. I've no idea. Probably not. No, I thought not. So let's do a sudo apt install HTOP. See if it works. Should do. you got to love running operating systems from a USB thumb drive, haven't you? You really have. Okay, let's type in HTOP, see what happens. There we go. And there's our HTOP up and running. I am laying down on the bed right now. You didn't really need to know that, but nevertheless, I am. Um, so, of course, it's got Ubuntu's beautiful theming on it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and if you're looking for an alternative to Linux Mint, uh, then why not uh, Cinnamon Ubuntu or Ubuntu Cinnamon? Uh, it does come with a lot of software, actually. A lot of games are pre-installed, all Linux games, of course, all tiny, small games. Uh, under Accessories, again, G-Edit, there's a load of stuff under here. 
whether you like the stuff it comes with or not is very much a personal thing. It does come with GIMP in pre-installed out the box. Uh, internet, well, of course, you get the Firefox, the same as you do on Linux Mint. No Google Chrome goodness here. Office, full LibreOffice suite. Uh, OBA, OBS Studio is now installed, and there it is. So let's give it a run out. That is a snap, and it is running off a USB thumb drive. So it might take a, a bit of a while to load up. Uh, background removal update available. Okay, I'm going to click cancel on that. Looks like you're running OBS WebSocket for the first time. Do you want to configure a password? No. Okay, oh my word. Uh, OBS seems to change every time I see it. Wow. Sources, vertical sources, this is all new. Uh, wow. Let's go add, let's add. Look at all the plugins. This is what I'm talking about. All the plugins right out of the box. Video capture device. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Add. Screen capture. Okay. We don't want to capture the cursor. Okay, let's lock it down. Wow. Uh, enable preview. Wow. This really is a suited and booted version of OBS Studio 30.0.2. Um, it is a snap. Um, but to have all the plugins installed right out the box, how well these all work, I don't know. Game capture for argument's sakes. I'd have to try them in the real world on bare metal. But nevertheless, it's pretty impressive that the Snap has all of that right out the box. Um, as I say, I'd have to try it out myself properly to test the validity of it. Uh, in terms of downloads, well, nothing in the downloads is the chab. Uh, so administration, we've added HTOP. You also, why don't why they include Alacrity uh, and the standard terminal? Uh, it's a bit weird, but anyway, you can either have Alacrity or you can have this, ter the standard terminal. Um, Dominal. I know Alacrity is cross-platform, so maybe that's why they've done it. You do get the GW package, Gparted, HTOP, a login window, logs, the GNOME Software Center, Software Update, Synaptic Package Manager, System Monitor, Terminal, Users and Groups. Then under Preferences, well, you get the usual stuff you'd expect to find and see on the Cinnamon. Then you get a shortcut to Places and your recent files. For those of you who are in doubt that this is my main PC, there's my MX23.1 home directory. There we go. And it's absolutely jam-packed full of stuff. Um, let's just open a thumbnail. Oh, it's going to open it with GIMP. That's interesting. Why would it open it by default with GIMP? Ah, uh, GIMP seems to work. I mean, considering this is all running off a USB thumb drive, it's all really rather nice. Just saying. Hmm. Very nice. Um. Yeah, it's gonna. It looks like GIMP is the default. Uh. Yeah, GIMP is. We also get fair. And we get Gtham as well. So let's open that with Gtham. There we go. Much quicker than GIMP. There we go. And of course we can check out the thumbnails. Nice. There's my beautiful beloved MX23. Uh, but I have to say, this is pretty gorgeous. Uh, AI images. Uh, let's go ahead and open with Gthumb because there's tons in here.
that I've created, some of which I did post on YouTube, some that I haven't. Just me messing around with some of these would be gorgeous, wouldn't they, for Ubuntu Cinnamon, either of those. Right colours. Oh, loving it. Maybe I should go into the business of making wallpapers for Ubuntu Cinnamon. That'd be pretty gorgeous as well, over the centre of London. Can we... Um, yeah. Well, uh, has been set. Oh, oh, check that out. Flying over Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament. Wow. Uh, well, it's not wow, actually, because it's a pretty chab quality. So you like that one. Setters. But the fact that you can set it as background straight out of G-Thump. Wow, that's gorgeous. That will do. That will do. Oh, I'm guessing the train's going to be even better. Just saying. Well, those of you that thought you were coming here for a review of Linux Mint, uh, Linux Mint, oh my God, Ubuntu Cinnamon, well, mildly disappointed you're going to be here yeah, because I'm just playing around with AI images. Oh my God. <coughs> uh, but I think I've demonstrated that it's quite easy to pick up Ubuntu Cinnamon Mate and just use it. Absolutely just use it. Uh, change desktop background. I'll try and remember where the other one was. That's it. Fold. Beautiful. Uh, so I'd have to say um, uh, mightily impressed I am. It's pretty fast, it's slick, it's gorgeous. Um, I can't speak for all snaps, but snap seems to run and load a lot quicker than what I remember, as shown here by quite a big version of OBS. Yeah. Of course... You know, snaps are a double-edged sword. It's great that they kind of a sandbox from the operating system. Eh, but you don't know who's done what and put what in where. Uh, and that's the downside of any self-contained file. You really don't know what's in it. Transmission, Thunderbird, Hex, Chat, Firefox. That's pretty standard. And quite a nice spread of... Uh, applications. Let's open up the preferences. Well, as they call it system settings. Linux Mint call it preferences. It's pretty much identical to the Linux Mint one. Uh, but again, it looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, extensions. Oh, is there... Um... Yeah. Let's have a look at des desk lits. Uh, digital photo frame. Let's add that. Uh, and let's move it to here. And this is one of the things I do like about it. And let's go on to the settings. Folder. Other. Other. Root MX. Home. You're right, so my mouse going dodgy. EB, AI images. Uh, delay 5 seconds, 0.3 seconds. Special effect, none. So it should just display them. There we go. Oh, nice. And there we go. That looks really freaking nice, I'm just saying. Wow. That is a really fresh, modern-looking beautifully attractive operating system built and based off of Ubuntu with Linux Mint Cinnamon uh, desktop manager installed. Mm. 
Uh, and how easy would it be to customise this? Well, I'm guessing pretty goddamn easy. So let's add the clock desolate as well. Uh, we'll move that down a little bit. Because uh, it is pretty nice. Uh, and we'll put the clock above it. Okay. Uh, and then if we go to the actual clock settings, uh, we can turn that around a bit. So we'll make it black. Yeah, that's good. Black on black is not good. So if we go to general settings, we want to lock it in place. Uh, snap de desk lits to the grid. Uh, no decoration. Well, that people is gorgeous. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, what? Hmm. I guess we could change that to a uh, neon orange from black. Do we have a neon orange? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it don't really work, does it, neon orange? Let's go with the white then. Yeah, the white works. Kind of. So... <sighs> It'd be interesting to see what is it would be like on bare metal uh, in the real world. I might give this a bit of a whirl, you know, on my secondary PC uh, and see how we get on. But I'm pretty impressed with it all. I don't know if any of you have tried Ubuntu Cinnamon. Um, that is absolutely stunning. That's gorgeous. Right out the box. Nothing else required. Just use it. Uh, now, how well it would run. Uh, well, it is 2310. I'd love to see and have a go with the 24.04 LTS when it's released. I mean, this is cutting edge, but it's abs. Well, it's cutting edge for Ubuntu, but it's absolutely gorgeous, people. It really is. And with. You know, very, very minimal effort. Uh, we've done an absolute stonking job, I think, with very minimal effort. Very minimal. Um, <clears throat> and the AI images that I created look fabulous on the desktop. As a little slideshow. Very nice. Everything should be locked in place. Yes, it is. So I can't accidentally drag it around. Um that's fantastic, people. I am absolutely loving that. That is really nice. So, as I say, please let me have your comments, your thoughts underneath the video. Um, there's no point in me really going into a full in-depth uh, review of it. Not the best sort of operating system if you're after something Mac-esque. Because uh, uh, customising the panel is very finicky. Uh, and quite difficult to do, not for new users. If you want a Windows-esque experience, or you want to use Linux Mint, but you don't want to use Linux Mint, uh, check out Ubuntu, mate. Ubuntu, mate. Oh, my God, what is the matter with my brain? Ubuntu. Cinnamon. Oh, my God. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Looks 100% fresh, modern, bang up to date. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave a shortcut link underneath the video as to where you can go check it out. You've only got to do a Google search for Ubuntu Cinnamon uh, and it'll come up anyway. So, uh, But there you go. I mean, I'm very, very impressed with it. Very impressed. That's gorgeous. However... What it's like in the real world on bare metal? Well, maybe I'll have to stick it on bare metal and give it a whirl. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another Wicked Broken Ebes video.